So you're done with your planet project, or so you thought. We gotta render. So the first thing I want you to do, somewhere on your computer, I'm gonna put mine on my desktop, and pardon my mess, it's a little trashy over here. We need to create a new folder, and I'm gonna call this folder uh, Planet Renders. You call it whatever you want to. And then I'm gonna hop back in Maya. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up our Planet Project, and I'm gonna go to File, Set Project, and find that folder that I just created, which is right there. So select it and then hit set. You want create default workspace. So what we did there was called set project. And since we're going to be rendering, it's going to send all our pictures to this folder. That way they're easily accessible and we don't lose them. <coughs> so in this animation, I just have some orbits, some rotations. That's about it. You guys will have cool explosions and effects that are going to knock my socks off, I'm sure. So we are going to create a render based on how many frames we have. So that's up to you. I'm just going to use 100 for this. So this number I can change to 100. Yours might be 500, maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000. Everybody's project is going to be different. Now we could export just a movie file. okay? And it's going to render, 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 and it's going to spit out a movie file. The problem with that is, in our later projects, when it's taking hours and hours to render, if we click movie file, let's say it's like three hours in and then the janitor unplugs your computer, okay? You're going to have to start that render from the very beginning. So what we're going to do is render in stills a whole bunch of still images, frame by frame by frame by frame, and then we are going to smash them all together to make a video. That way, if janitor comes and break something or unplug something or the power goes out, we can just uh, start rendering right where we left off. So let's go to our render settings, which is located right here. And we're going to use Maya software. In later projects, we'll use Arnold, which will make it look a lot better, but we're going to use Maya software right now. Under the common tab, change the prefix. I'm going to say planet project. I need to change this to JPEG, and my frame padding, that's just these zeros before, so I'm going to change that to three. You don't have to. I want name number dot extension. That's important. Okay, so we are going to be spitting out JPEGs, and they're going to be called Planet Project 001, 002, 003, etc. Start frame is 1, my end frame is going to be 100, yours might be different, and the camera that I'm using is my perspective camera. If we wanted just a top down, we could say, yep, render my top camera, but most of you are going to render your perspective camera. I'm just going to use 640 by 480, so not very high resolution, that's okay. And we will dive into this tab here in a little bit. I'm going to press close. So after that, I'm going to go to rendering and then render sequence and hit the options box. From here, the only thing I'm going to click, make sure this is perspective or whichever camera you have, and add to render view. Now, another way to get there is if you click this button, we can say, oh, let's render a sequence. So I can click that, or I can go to render. I like going here just so I you know everything is good. That was not batch render. Uh, where's render sequence? There it is. And then render sequence and close. So it is going frame by frame and rendering. So I'm only rendering from frame 1 to 100. It's going pretty darn quick, and that's because we're using... Maya software renderer. If this were Arnold, this would take much longer. If we had more effects, if we had glass or different metals or lights shining through things, it's going to take a lot longer. But we will let this finish up. And since I don't like 
editing my videos. I'm just going to stop it right here. Okay, so let's take a peek at that folder that we created. And if you look in images, Tim, these images are popping up. And I can scroll through them, and I have an animation. Okay, now these are just individual images. So I will have to go into a program called Virtual Dub. If you know Premiere, that might work as well. But we're going to take all these renders, squish them together, and then that's what you're going to turn in. You're actually going to turn in a movie file. 